Wellington County Museum and Archives held their second annual Remembrance Ceremony on Wednesday, November the 5th, the start of Remembrance Week. Welcome to our second annual Remembrance Ceremony as we honor the fallen from Wellington County. My name is Chris White. I'm the Mayor of Guelph Aramasa and the Warden of Wellington County. Last year, we honored the fallen from the Great War. This year, museum staff have added markers for the fallen from World War II, Korea, and Afghanistan. 471 memorial markers of the fallen from World War I to Afghanistan are highlighted on the museum front lawn. Each marker has the name of the fallen with additional information of their age, where they passed, and where they were from. Today, uh, November 5th, is the beginning of Remembrance Week, and we are honoring um, all of those who died in the county in the First World War, Second World War, uh, Korea, Afghanistan. And uh, we have brought together uh, the um, Legion members. Beth has brought together the Legions and uh, all of the names have been read out today from the county to honor the fallen. The gathering of information is an ongoing part of this event with the staff continually keeping the information up to date. Robert John Moutry, Wilfred Oakes, Peter Pick, Quite often what happens is, uh, especially First World War, names maybe have um, misspelled or maybe an initial, it might say G when it's actually C, for example. Uh, so it's really about, uh, the, we're doing what, the best we can, but sometimes the cenotaphs actually are not uh, 100% or maybe the records that we used are not 100%. So uh, quite often it might be a family member, maybe a great-grandchild at this point or great-great-grandchild or uh, that will say actually that name, uh, for example, in our, my family there's someone, it was called uh, Wasley with an A, not Wesley with an E very different spelling, you know, so of course it got passed along as Wesley, but it actually is Wesley. <laughs> Other Remembrance Week activities coming up at the museum include a tribute candle lighting on November the 10th at 6 p.m. There's also a military lecture series with Terry Kopp that will be November the 13th at 7 p.m. and the topic will be liberation and sacrifice, Canadian soldiers and Dutch civilians. The Wellington County Remembrance Ceremony can be seen here on TV Coach Go this Saturday at 3.20. Other TV Coach Go Remembrance Day programming includes A Warrior's Legacy, which will premiere Sunday night at 8 p.m. And of course, our Centre Wellington Remembrance Day services will be held on November the 11th at 9.30 in Salem, 10 a.m. in Fergus, and 11 a.m. in Elora. You can see those here on TV Coach Go on Tuesday at 4.30 and 8.30 p.m., Wednesday at 11.30 a.m. and 9 p.m.